Hello, so today we will discuss how you can evaluate the teachers and they will receive the feedback on their email with the power of Power Apps and Flow. So as you can see, now I have a, a template that I'll gonna fill it together with you. So here I will just put uh, my email, uh, the email of the person who is uh, observing uh, the other teacher. I will select the date. Uh, I will just put any name or the person that I'm uh, observing. Uh, name of a teacher observed. Okay, my email address. I will select the email address. And then I will uh, enter the subject. It could be like I'm um, checking or observing ICT year four. I will just write anything here to fill it up and then I will fill the following observation method. Okay. Okay. When I finish, I will press on submit and now we will wait that this response will be sent automatically to the teacher on her email address. So uh, this is using the power of uh, flows. So uh, we will discuss it step by step how you achieve it. Now let's go to the email of the uh, teacher to check that they received the uh, inbox. Okay, so we are in the email of the teacher. Now, as you can see here, I received an email as a teacher. It's telling me, dear Solange, because I didn't write the full name, uh, please find attached your evaluation. And I have my evaluation attached in the form of a PDF. So I can see the date that I was observed, who observed me, and all the details that this person put over there. Uh, let's go ahead and discover how I did this and how we achieved it from being in a, a form in Microsoft Forms to be received as an email and as an attachment in the form of PDF. So let me take you through the Microsoft flow. This is my flow. As you can see, I tested several times. First of all, it failed, but then it succeeded and it will give you the status each time it succeeds. So now let us go ahead and uh, show you the step by step how I did this flow. First of all, I started by a template. It was called from processing to email and SharePoint. So uh, from that template, I uh, started by this when a new response is submitted. So this was my first uh, trigger. Uh, and here I selected out of all my forms, the form that I, cre I created for the evaluation. After that, I added some actions. So according to this trigger, when a new response is there, what will happen? Let us see the steps. So first of all, uh, select an output. So what is the output? The output, it is automatically there. So once you click on it, it will be the list of responses notifying responses IT. So this is the one that it will start. Then I have to do uh, another like action, which is get response detail. Now I know the ID, which is the number of the form. Uh, I again select the name of the form and again selected the ID. Uh, then I uh, added this uh, action over here. What is this action? These like uh, responses are in an Excel sheet. So the output will be like an Excel sheet. What I need to do is I need to put it in a format like something like a page, which is an HTML page. So in here, what I did is I put this HTML uh, page and this is very easy. We have some websites where you can uh, generate this type of uh, HTML. 
I can put it for you uh, in the YouTube description if you want so that you can take it now uh, beside each uh, like uh, field I selected the field from Microsoft Forms so in here if you click on here you will see all the uh, responses so each uh, like field in the Microsoft form will be like a separate field so next to any word for example something I really like this day over here I will go to that question which is this one and I will select it okay so in this way put it here so in this way I will have the answer from the Microsoft forms it will be displayed next to the question so now that I have it as an HTML page what I will do is that I will insert this one uh, this requires some sort of subs subscription where it will be converting the H and HTML like uh, coding to a PDF and this is the PDF that will be uh, attached to your email now that everything is ready the PDF is ready I need to send an email so the next action here is to send an email I will click on this action send an email then over here I have to select two again uh, when I click here I can uh, see the form so I can take uh, the field that I need from the form it could be the email address it could be the email address of the teacher whatsoever I pick uh, the subject could be evaluation and here dear the name of the teacher and then I will press on show advanced options and in the advanced options I need to attach the PDF now to attach the PDF uh, since we converted from HTML to PDF we will once clicking on the PDF attachment we will have this field here which is called processed file content so I will select it this means this is the uh, content that was changed from form to a PDF now I need to give it a name so the name will be this expression over here when I click it is the base file name and don't forget to put .pdf to give it the extension uh, this is the whole process as you can see it's very easy straightforward just follow the video and uh, you will be able to achieve an automated email sent to the teacher that was observed by anyone it could be the coordinator it could be the principal it could be her co-teacher thank you for watching the video